Great question raised to kick off the week this week already, and that was around partner communication raised by a vendor on a call and actually a little bit rhetorical, but they raised the question, why do I still send out newsletters to partners? It's an interesting one that around three quarters, if not more, channel marketing managers are still using newsletters as their primary form of content delivery to partners. Why, when at the same time, it's also one of the poorest performing. Actually, on top of that, you've got other factors such as, well, the big one, which is time really and cost. Why would you take one to two weeks to put together something to send to partners that no one's going to read? There are lots of factors involved and obstacles in the way to actually making that happen from building the newsletter itself, designing it, putting the content together and pulling that together from different resources and people around the world, translating it in some cases, uh, testing it, collecting feedback, and obviously then sending it out to the partners. So again, it raises a question, although a bit rhetorical, why am I sending newsletters out to partners?